Hi guys and welcome back to yet another ActionFigureFury.com video review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Snakeweed. This mutant botanical bruiser is already in stores now, it's just taken me forever to find him. Yesterday I looked at the Leatherhead figure, today we got Snakeweed, and tomorrow I'll be taking a look at Baxter Stockman. But let's see what this packaging looks like. We've got the standard Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles purple and green packaging with the Nickelodeon TMNT logo along the top. Figure packed nicely inside. It's actually disassembled a little bit. A little assembly required just like Leatherhead. And then we got the Turtle Brothers along the right hand side. And then we got Snakeweed, Mutant Botanical Bruiser along the bottom. We flip the packaging over. You can see the bio for Snakeweed. You can pause it there if you want to read it. And you can see the rest of the figures available now. The only thing to note about this packaging is it's actually missing Leatherhead down there on the bottom. Now let's rip this guy open and see what he has in store. Okay, here we are back with Snakeweed outside of the packaging. And he comes disassembled in six different pieces. And let me show you how to assemble him. First, you can put his legs and you just stick them right in the holes here. And it's kind of a one time assembly thing, just like Leatherhead was. And you just push them in there and they just stay in. And same with the other leg. And then he's got his antennas for his head. And they just poke in his head there. And he's got a couple antennas for his hands. Oops. And once you got him all together there, you got Snakeweed. Now once we have Snakeweed fully assembled, he looks absolutely fantastic. The paint is terrific. As you can see, if we put him up close here, you can see that the light green fades into the dark green. So it's not just straight any color green. And then you got his heart here, sculpted on there. And it's covered with vines, just like in the cartoon. My favorite part <laughs> is his head, and it looks like one of those commercials where you got the cigarette smokers. And then you got his eyes, and then he's got little slit eyes with red inside the middle there. And then if you look at his legs, he's got the, even got the red or the pink in between his legs where he ripped his legs open, just like in the cartoon. He's got some nice textures on his legs. See the back here. All of these are hard plastic, but they're like floppy. Same with his antennas. They're floppy but they're hard plastic. Let's check out Snakeweed's articulation. He's got a head on a swivel joint. It can spin all the way around. His antennas can spin, both of them. And then he's got arms that can go up, down, and all the way around. But the Antennas get in the way. And then he's got a torso joint, a little ball joint in there. You can swivel, go left, right. He's got ball joint hips. You can go up, part, up and down. And then he's got knees, you can bend. About 90 degrees. The only thing is with his knees, they're about they're stuck 
right there. You can't get him any straighter than that. That's the only thing I don't like about his knees. But other than that, they're pretty great. This is one of the most articulated villains, which is a big bonus. Now let's see how he sizes up with the Turtle Brothers. Even with his bent knees, he's taller than the Turtle Brothers. He's not as tall as he should be, but he's still taller. And then let's see how tall he is with Leatherhead. He's way taller than Leatherhead, which probably isn't correct, because Leatherhead scales way off, but Snakeweed's pretty close to how big he should be, but he's still not as tall as he actually should be in the cartoon. So there you have it. There's a look at the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Snakeweed by Playmates Toys. Overall, I'm going to have to say that he's a fantastic action figure with a great paint job, fantastic sculpt, and even better articulation. I've been pretty hard on all of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles villains from the cartoon figure line from Playmates from the start because of the articulation, but this guy stepped it up quite a bit, and he actually turns out to be pretty good. I would recommend this guy to just about anybody that's a fan of the cartoons. And if you're interested in buying this figure, then you can buy them at Big Bad Toy Store or Entertainment Earth. Both of the links will be in the description below. And for all the best action figure and toy news, visit us online at actionfigurefury.com. And if you've been following along with our Marvel Select giveaway to win a Marvel Select Ultron or Storm action figure, then you can get a third entry by liking this video and commenting exactly as I say right now. I want to win a Marvel Select Ultron and Storm action figure. That's all you need to say. And like this video and leave that exact comment. That exact, what you need to comment will be left in the description below. And there's also going to be a link to the original giveaway video below. So if you want to win those two action figures, check out the description below. And be sure to subscribe to this channel. And until next time.